The winch box from Midwest Trailers is finally here. Time to open. So the one thing I noticed when we got this trailer, it's only eight and a half feet wide, so it doesn't give me a whole lot of room inside once I pull the car in to get out. So what I figured was, get a winch. So I'm online and I saw this company, MidwestRaceCabinets.com, and they have this cool in-floor box that you can mount the winch into. So today, we're gonna show you how to install that, get the battery installed that's gonna run it, and see how slick it is. The winch box from Midwest Trailers is finally here. Time to open. They sent the black powder coating on. But I guess powder coating is better than aluminum, huh? Nice. Yeah, let's go back. Get this dropped in. Is it like a glove? Nice. How clean that is. So I mounted the battery in front of the uh, winch here, drilled a couple holes through the floor, and I'm going to feed it up into the winch box. back down here and put some wire looms on these. Got the winch and the battery 
setup going on. Got the tender up top, battery in there. Just plug in the tender when I want to charge it up. The winch is wired up to the battery and the battery is wired up to the junction box, which then goes into the seven pin. So I have that line run underneath. So now I have all the components mounted inside the box. I've got the wires run to the battery. I've got the solenoid here installed. There's a wired on off switch. And there's also two cool wireless remotes that I'm gonna use mostly for bringing the car in. Also, the fair lead is mounted onto. There's also this pulley. I'll show you why I have that pulley. So there's the fair lead mounted to the back of this unit. So I mounted another D-ring here because on the front of the Porsche, the, the tow hook is off center. So we need to run the D-ring there to center out the winch because it was pulling it up at an angle and it was starting to bind the winch on one side. So anyway, that's how I solved that problem.